Carla. Um, indeed, it's a great honour to be able to pay a tribute to one of the most remarkable and inspiring leaders of our time. I wanted to bring a different perspective to the tributes that have been paid this morning, given that I'm the only person here who wasn't actually born when um, Mandela was finally released from prison. Concorla, I have no memories of the Free Mandela movement or the agitation around apartheid. As long as I've been alive, South Africa has been a democratic, multicultural country built upon the work of the ANC and leaders such as Nelson Mandela. As a young Republican, I'm very proud of our party's affinity with the ANC and with Mandela, who are regular visitors to the Sinn Féin Ardèche. While others in this chamber are reluctant to stand shoulder to shoulder with the South African people and their struggle, we have always been proud of our unity and struggle. I have, present, I have been presented with the image of a peacemaker and a statesman throughout my education and from the media. The struggle he carried is too often overlooked. What struck me most about Mandela was his never-ending devotion to what is right, his love of his country and his people. There are many lessons for our young people today to take from his extraordinary life. He was committed to changing South Africa for the better, for all people, especially for women. He set about creating a constitution which gave women in South Africa one of the most comprehensive sets of rights in the world, designed to protect them from discrimination and violence. His desire to advance women's liberation has and always will inspire young women around the world as we continue to fight for equality. We should also take a moment to remember his family. The pain he endured wasn't felt by himself alone. His family shared the burden of that. It is important all of us remember that the work of political activists is only ever possible with family support. Rightly or wrongly, society has elevated Mandela to a demigod, somehow different from the rest of us. We must remember he was only human. He took extraordinary action in extraordinary times. He truly lived by his own words. There is no passion to be found in playing small, in settling for a life that is less than the one you're capable of living. There is no doubt that we have lost a truly incredible leader. The best way we can honour his life and his examples is by emulating the passion he had for human rights, education and equality. One thing is for sure, there aren't nearly enough people in our world like Nelson Mandela.